in actuality and in reality, abuse exists in our military and in our police department, and we're talking of a sexual nature. And so while it was that the intent was to include uh, matters like rape and sexual assault as matters as, uh, like disgraceful conduct, I think we would have run afoul of the criminal code, Madam Speaker, because the criminal code has a penalty of up to life for rape. Mm -hmm. And so my main position and proposition within the committee was that we need to have more enforcement. The police department needs to be able to go into the military if there is an accusation against a particular officer of rape or sexual assault and investigate. It cannot be that the defense and the military is immune to this type of investigation. And so we in this honorable house have to send the strongest of messages, um, Madam Speaker, the strongest of signals that it will not be tolerated any longer. We need to stand up with our women in the military. We need to stand up with our women in the police department. And while it is primarily our women, it's not exclusively, there are instances of abuse against males. And so, Madam Speaker, the signal nonetheless needs to be sent today from this Honorable House that we will be cracking down and we will be allowing the police department to do their job and the DPP to do their job against those offenders within the military and the police. I do not want to quarrel in terms of what he said about the question of the serious charges that are now, the serious behavior that is now defined in this bill, uh, which serious behavior can naturally form the basis of charges inside the military. But what our leader-elect said is also true. It has never been the case, as I understand it, that the fact of provisions being made for these matters to be dealt with and for offenders within the military to face as well military justice. That has never been something that, as it were, then works to the exclusion of the regular criminal law and the jurisdiction of the police to be able to charge members of the military for crimes that they are alleged to have committed. Maybe it is time to, to consider at the BDF that probably in the last year of the prior to retirement that these soldiers can get some kind of counseling and preparing them to, to get another kind of job if they want to be an electrical or a carpenter or whatever it is that they do. I think that's the least that we owe to them because it, 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 um, it, it, it breaks your heart when you see that these people, highly trained personnel, that all they could do is to get a, um, to be a security guard at a, at a hotel or at a business or at the banks. And I think we owe it to them. They have, they have served us faithfully. Um, and so I think it is time for us to consider as a, as a government to, to put that in, in, into place. So I like that idea exceedingly well and I would certainly support it and urge that it be contemplated. He may well be the one responsible for dealing with it or some other uh, 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 politician, but I think it's an excellent idea that should be pursued. In terms of wanting to provide opportunities for the further education of the men and women of the Belize Defense Force after they retire. That's a good thing. But without that, there is already this tremendous pool of talent that the BDF hosts. You meet these soldiers. You visit the camps. You see the variegated nature of the skills of these people. I'm not a swamata who shoot gun and march in at the jungle and, and, and plan strategy in terms of war games. Thank God we've not had an actual war ever. It is fantastic, the spectrum of skills that these people have. And I agree that it is a shame that after they retire, so many of them are left to fend for themselves in a way 
that's not beneath their dignity. No form of work really is beneath anybody's dignity. Mm -hmm. But there is a mismatch between the kinds of jobs they're able to get after retirement and the sorts of skills these people possess. Mm 